the end, 23,000 died. Yet even with such a history of earthquakes, people do not seem to have been discouraged from building and settling along this ancient fault line. Some believe that the Mayans abandoned their lands because of crop failure. They simply depleted the soil and had to move on. For thousands of years, Mayan peasants have been beating back the jungle, burning out cornfields. Even today, corn makes up 80% of the Mayan diet. Crop failure is a horrendous disaster. But Al Arista is unconvinced. He dismisses such easy explanations as earthquake and crop failure. The pre-scientists were able to predict earthquakes as well as the kind of weather conditions that would be propitious for a specific kernel of corn. And there were 28 kernels of corn developed for specific weather conditions. These people had developed a socialist, a communistic society where everything that was raised by the people was distributed to the people according to their needs. Others have suggested that changing climate could account for the sudden disappearance of the ancient Mayans. Alarista also believes this unlikely. They also use psychic energy in order to attract clouds in the event of drought, so that the idea of rain dance is not really uh, a very far out idea if you understand it in terms of psychic energy. The Mayas had a very good reason for building their pyramids on these energy grids because this enabled them to awaken psychic energy within initiates that came to these art centers. The Maya Itzai disappeared mysteriously, but they did not leave the earth. They simply concluded a cycle of civilization and took off to the east. The journey to the east starts right here in the peninsula de Yucatan. It is from this peninsula that they cross the sea, stop in Egypt into the Red Sea, go up towards Nepal. It was there that they started their second cycle of civilization. One of the colonies of the Maya Isai was to be found at the foot of the Dead Sea, where the monastery of the Essenes was located. It was there that Jesus learned about the philosophy of the world. Alarista offers a startling conclusion. The last words of Christ on the cross were not Aramaic words, they were stylized Mayan words, and they did not mean, O oh God, why have thy forsaken me? They meant, at last, I sink in the dawn of your presence. Today, little survives of the old practices and beliefs. For a civilization once first among all those in the world, there remains only ruins and a cave, an ancient house of worship. The priestly knowledge it contained is lost, forgotten. Perhaps the ancient Mayans anticipated this when they wrote long ago, all moons, all years, all days, all winds take their course and pass away. The ancient Mayans, men of knowledge, conceived their time on Earth their cycle of civilization to be 5,200 years. Beginning their calendar August 12, 3113 BC, they predicted that on December 24, 2011 AD, a cataclysmic earthquake would terminate their cycle of civilization. New men of knowledge would then appear to fight the forces of evil and lead the people to create a world government. If the Mayan men of knowledge were right, 
In just 34 years, we may learn the answers to some of the ancient Mayan mysteries. <laughs>